Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool 202 Western Electric and this is Karen's equipment from California and I do believe that this was her dad's telephone but uh, what we want to do is go through this telephone this is the initial checkout and we want to show you the telephone now it has some issues but uh, we're going to kind of go through what we need to do we're going to try to save the original line cord we can put a modular line adapter on this uh, line cord and we'll have to troubleshoot the cord and make sure that it's in good enough condition to be able to use and that way Karen can simply plug it up to any modern jack and she'll be able to use the telephone be plug and play we also want to go through the handset the handset does not have the receiver capsule or the cap for the handset so we want to go ahead and locate those parts for Karen and we'll set that to the side. We want to get a dial center ring and card to the period of this telephone. Now, we want to go through the rotary. It's sluggish. So now what we want to do is clean, oil, and adjust the rotary. We also want to give you a look at the inside of the telephone. And I want to show you what they have on the bottom plate. It's kind of cool because basically what it's saying is this uh, telephone, all the materials, you know, there's records on that and they know what they've loaned out and uh, they want this uh, telephone back basically is what it looks like. It says loan material records, uh, a Pactel and telephone company, and then some of the tag is missing, of course, but and then it says something about install this equipment so they might have wanted some of this equipment back but it's not an issue nowadays but uh, you know it, it's just kind of funny to see that tag and them telling you that they know that there's a list of materials that they have with you basically the telephone we also want to go through everything inside the telephone all the connections we want to go through the hook switch and we want to go ahead and clean oil and adjust the rotary like we had mentioned earlier. So it's a very cool telephone. It's in very good condition. And we want to just get a start on this telephone. We'll get some more video of it as we move forward and we start our final checkout. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we want to show one other issue that we've noticed while we've been troubleshooting the telephone. We have our receiver capsule installed and our receiver cap. So now what we want to do is we've noticed that the transmitter is missing and the tab that would contact on the transmitter is broken off. They also took the two leads that run up to the receiver and they put them on the same post. So basically it's never going to work that way. We need to replace our tab or repair our tab but the connections are all improper on the inside of the handset. So somebody figured they had a problem and they went looking for the problem and while they were trying to rewire the handset like that might have been the problem they have shorted the two lines that run up to the receiver capsule so we want to get that all straightened out and we'll come back and get some more video as soon as we do our final check so we'll take a short break and we'll be right back okay we're back now and we want to start our final checks but we want to run through a little bit about what went on we went ahead and replaced there was no transmitter in the handset so we went ahead and installed a transmitter we went ahead and installed a receiver capsule and a cap for the handset we installed a dial center ring and card to the period of the telephone 
it says please wait for dial tone and we'll go ahead and do a still photo of that. We went through the rotary that was oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. We also rewired this telephone the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work. We also installed a modular port adapter on the line cord so that Karen can simply walk up to any modern jack and go ahead and plug in and use the telephone. Makes for a simple, clean connection. So we kind of went through a little bit of everything on the telephone and we're ready to start our final checks. So what we want to do is go ahead and give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We're going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. Now that we know that this telephone is transmitting, receiving, it's dialing out, we have a button on the switch box and when I push that, that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we can call a time and temp number. Now they're having some issues with their equipment. You'll hear the recording start, you'll hear a hum, and then the recording will continue. That's on their end, it has nothing to do with us. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll call that number. Good afternoon. Today is Monday, August 11th. The time is 2.59. Current temperature, 91 degrees. Partly cloudy tonight and Tuesday, low tonight, mid-60s, Tuesday's high around 80. Okay. We can also call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Karen and she can enjoy this telephone. Very cool Western Electric 202 desk telephone and they're very sought after. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 Two three five six nine five nine. Thank you for watching and have a great day.